When you think of piranhas, does your mind immediately go to a frenzy of flesh-eating hungry fish? If so, you're not alone. This fish has gotten a menacing reputation because of how it is often portrayed in movies and media. But there's a lot more to these feisty fang fish. Hey there, fishizens! Welcome back to Go Fishing Now, your number one daily source on the internet for all things fishing. Today, we're going to be talking about all things piranha and there is a lot to cover. Let's dive in! First things first, what do piranhas actually eat? Well, they certainly are not picky about what they eat, that's for sure. Piranhas have even been known to eat other piranhas. These fish have the strongest bite of any bony fish and one of the strongest bites of any vertebrates relative to its own body mass. But believe it or not, these fish are actually omnivores meaning they eat both meat and plants. While their diet still primarily consists of fish, they will also occasionally eat plant material. Also, many don't know that most piranhas are quite small, coming in at around 8 to 12 inches. So, if they're mostly eating other fish, do they really attack humans like in the movies? Well, truth be told, there have been few rare instances of humans being fatally attacked by a frenzy of piranhas. These were under special circumstances where the fish were starved for food and had minimal options. They are more likely to attack children unfortunately as they are drawn to splashing. They are also more drawn to animals that appear weak and in distress. So yes, piranhas have been known to fatally attack a human but it is incredibly uncommon. What is more likely to happen and what often gets reported as a piranha attack is actually just a piranha bite. While I'm sure this is still incredibly unpleasant due to their razor sharp teeth, it is still a far cry from a true attack. Hundreds of piranha bites occur each year when people swim in known piranha waters. Typically, it's just a dip on the heel, toe, or hand and nothing too noteworthy overall. Occasionally, stitches could be warranted but this is also quite rare as they are often scared away rather quickly. But no worries if you're going out for a swim. Unless you live near or along the Amazon River, it is quite unlikely you would ever encounter a piranha in the wild. These fish are native to South America and they make their homes in streams, rivers, and lakes. They prefer murky water and are strictly freshwater fish. Have you ever seen a piranha? Would you go fishing for them if you had the chance? Stay tuned to the end of the video to learn tips to use when piranha fishing. Occasionally, these fish might be found outside of their natural habitat and it usually causes a ruckus. In 1970, a piranha was caught by a teenager fishing in the Everglades. When local wildlife authorities found out, they went all in on searching for further evidence of any piranhas. They even attempted to chemically flush out any other piranhas to see how many may be in the local waters. They did not find another in Florida until 40 years later when one was caught in the lake in southern Florida in 2014. The lake was immediately drained for safety reasons but no other piranhas were ever found. So how is it possible that one lone piranha ended up in the Florida Everglades? The most likely answer is that someone was keeping the animal as a pet and ultimately decided to release it into the wild. While these fish do not specifically pose a threat to humans, they certainly pose a threat to wildlife in an area where they are not native. They have the potential to become an incredibly dangerous invasive species that could easily disrupt the ecosystem. With minimal natural predators outside of humans and one another, these omnivorous fish could wipe out entire species if introduced to a new location. This is why authorities and citizens alike are quite concerned whenever one of these little fish pops up where it doesn't belong. Individual piranhas have been found in the late 80s and early 90s, three different times in California ponds. They have even been found in Lake Ontario. All of these instances have proven to be no more than one piranha in a single location. While it is legal in some states to own piranhas as pets, it is illegal in all states to release them into the wild. In many other countries, it is illegal to own or even transfer piranhas without a permit. In the Philippines, for instance, you can serve up to four years in prison if you are caught with a piranha and the fish will be instantly killed. These fish are difficult to keep as pets for many reasons. They are aggressive and dangerous to stay in close quarters with. They will also eat any other fish you try to keep in the tank. Sometimes you can keep a few of the same species of piranha in the same tank but even then it can turn ugly. If you do want to keep one of these fish as a pet, your best bet is to just get one and keep him in his own tank. Would you consider keeping a piranha as a pet? 
Let us know in the comments if you've learned anything new about piranhas or if you have a fun fact we forgot to include. So, are you ready to go fishing? There are at least 20 different species of piranhas for you to catch, but experts on the fish estimate that there are as many as 60 different piranha species waiting to be discovered. These fish come in a rainbow of colors including red, black, yellow, gray, and even blue. Many fishermen report that the piranha is one of the easiest fish to catch. You will be most successful with actual bait and are going to be successful with basically any type of meat. Many fishermen don't even use their real poles. You can simply attach fishing line to a bamboo stick. Of course, it's important to mention the necessity of utilizing wire leader when fishing for piranha. Their sharp teeth will bite right through the line otherwise and you'll never be able to catch one. Fishermen have also reported successful piranha fishing trips when fishing with lures too. You'll have the best chance when using flashy lures and a bobber. It's best not to have the bait drag on the bottom to make sure the piranha sees the movement. Make sure you don't use any soft plastic lures. Those will get shredded for sure. Most who have experienced piranha fishing report how fun it is because of the high catch rate. Alright, now that you've caught your fish, it's time to make dinner. Piranha is reported to have a somewhat fishy, salty taste if not prepared properly. The best way to cook piranha is on the grill, but you do have to watch out for many tiny bones in the fish. Most importantly, you need to make sure you're always avoiding the teeth when removing from the hook and especially when eating. Alright, that's all for piranhas. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below. And let us know if there is a fish you'd like to learn more about in an upcoming video. As always, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell or we'll release a piranha in your bathtub. See you on the Amazon River!